Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean, right. and this is Everyday Food Reviews, and today we've got Month in Review, episode 12. <laughs> One and two. Yeah, so December, um, it's actually not even Christmas yet at the time we're recording it, but we, we were thinking... We're, so, we're usually so busy over yeah, Christmas, over, it's uh, get it done, and we're not yeah. going to meet to do any more videos, so... Yeah, so the, the, there won't be any more news to report by the time the video is uploaded, because we probably won't be meeting up anymore to do any videos until well, the new some year. news! Mate, this is already, we've already had a year of month in review. Yeah. That's pretty insane, like, it feels like not that long ago I was like, mate... Let's do like just a discussion video about stuff. And you were like unsure how it would go. And now we're over 12 episodes in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it went the other way. I, I said to you, like, should should I do like a, a news segment sort of video or something? We just and didn't, we, we couldn't gonna... decide, could we, what we wanted, yeah. I think. And it's kind of been an amalgamation of both. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> it's been good. It's been fun. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's um, again like with it with it being in the run up to Christmas and stuff, and uh, we we've not managed to meet up as much as we like this month. And there's the the only stuff we have looked at has been Christmas related things. Uh, half of which we looked at last month as we talked about them because there was the Costa Christmas drinks mm -hmm. and the McDonald's festive burgers. But what we have looked at. Um, that's already uploaded at this point, the Domino's festive pizza. Yes. And what we've looked at today is the Greg's vegan festive bake, and that will probably be uploaded on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So by the time this is up, that should be up. And we enjoyed them both. Mm. There was no bacon on the festive one, though, and you said in an earlier video we recorded today, because sometimes we do get together and record more than one video, mm -hmm. um... You said we hadn't heard back from Domino's yet after, a com after you lodged a complaint. We haven't. Um, mm. But again, I, I imagine they're going to be pretty busy at the moment. And I, I didn't. I emailed them on Thursday, so there's there's been the weekend in it's Monday now. So I mean, I might have had a reply today, um, but I've, I've not I've not checked. But I hadn't had a reply when I checked this morning. Okay. Um, but yeah, I. It's a bit disheartening because we've always recommended Domino's based on the, the customer service and the accuracy and consistency and reliability and the fact that when there is an issue with any of the above, they resolve it due to the, the good customer service. So it's a bit disappointing um, that at this point that's not been resolved, but I'm hopeful that it will be. The Greg's Vegan Festive Bake. Yes. It was great. That was really good. Yeah, it was pretty much the same as the regular one. The pastry was a little bit drier, and the corn did not quite have the texture of actual turkey, but all the flavours were just as I remembered them from having it last year. Yep. So, uh, yeah, yeah, really good. Uh, brilliant. Um, yeah, and in terms of things that are coming up as well, sorry, we skipped over it because I've only got one bullet point there. It's uh, Veganuary. Like after this video gets uploaded, we're going to be trying to upload some vegan stuff, mm. or certainly more vegan stuff than usual for the month of January. Yeah, this time last year, January twenty, start January twenty twenty one, wasn't the best month to be getting together and trying lots of different vegan products. So no. hopefully, well, yeah. Having said that, we don't know what it's going to be like. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if we're going backwards at this point, but yeah, um, we are. We we're really hoping we can get together. Even if it's just a couple of times and trying as many vegan products as possible, whether mm. that's chocolate or crisps or uh, yeah, any anything that we can potentially get our hands on, we might have to spend a bit of money. So I'll have to talk Sean around <laughs> to spending money. Um, but yeah, any anything we can try and find and we think would make a very interesting video and a cool video, we, we're really going to try and make a, a real effort to see the January in into the new year with a yeah. couple, good couple of specials. And hopefully, depending on the rules as well. Um, a That's few what of, I mean, yeah. A few of the big corporations will also be making an effort, like like it was a couple of years ago when we had the things from uh, KFC and, and that sort of thing. And yeah. Hopefully, there'll be a few. And Subway as well. Yeah. Um, 
hopefully there'll be a few more of those this year and if not we're hoping to get to somewhere that does the vegan mcdonald's burger because there's no mcdonald's local to us that are offering that at the moment and we don't know how long the nationwide rollout is going to take so we want to get and try that um if we can't get it locally by january we'll probably drive did you say manchester was the nearest place manchester's clear I mean, that's closest relatively local we've driven 20, to... it's about 19 yeah, 18 19 miles from me so yeah. another 20 on that nearly for you being almost center of liverpool well i'll, I'll drive to you like i do half the time anyway and then we'll you just drive go to in, manchester yeah, from definitely. yours um we've driven to manchester before for too good to go we are at them so it's, it's not like it's um no. really that far to be fair no I mean it, it, from that point of view you know you, you, you've you kind of got to see McDonald's doing a national rollout next year you know we've had the v, uh, the vegan chicken burger from KFC now for nearly 18 months I think is it 18 months ish and when did we look at it Um, you know you've had the Burger King plant based Whopper yeah not strictly vegan January 2020 so two years we've had the vegan KFC. And then if you look quickly, plant-based Whopper, so, which is not strictly vegan, we know. Um, the Rebel Whopper was January January. Oh, wow. So they're both two years old. You, you kind of got to see McDonald's rolling it out properly next year. The Burger King, the Vegan Royale, was April this year. Yeah. And that, that is actually vegan, the, the Vegan Royale. Yeah, yeah. Um, unlike the, the Rebel Whopper. Um, well, you, yeah, like I say, you, you, we've kind of... Got to assume it's going to be next year, 2022, surely. Like, they can't be two years behind KFC and Burger King. Well, even regardless if it is of... next year, we, we want to do it in January. Yeah, we do, exactly. Yeah. I just mean the national rollout. You don't yeah. necessarily want to wait, so. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Uh, still keeping with the festive theme, we today looked at the Wraith Christmas cocktail flavours. Don't know whether that will be uploaded yet. Um, and I don't know if it'll be uploaded before or after the Bayside Blast and Pear Drop video that we also recorded um, about a week ago, um, because... I think maybe we, we'll have to have a discussion on which order to put them up, yeah. but I feel like the Wraith Christmas cocktail should go up sooner rather than later. Yeah, if there's a slot to If they're discontinued in. after January. Yeah, I think that they said they were hoping it would be a permanent thing, So, but they, uh, it is more of a festive theme, and especially with the... Cosmo one just tasting like orange and cranberry. That was a very festive flavour. Mm, yeah, felt. definitely. Um, uh, but yeah, and the Bayside Blast and Pear Drop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've missed the boat on them. Maybe that maybe they can go into like a bit of a vault until we need a video going out, eh? Yeah. The, we uploaded the Costco video that was uh, eagerly anticipated. Uh, so we've not even looked at the pizza yet. We just looked at the hot dog and the chicken bake. Mm. We'll definitely be looking at the pizza at some point as we we have that occasionally anyway so yeah. just doing a video on that when we get it would be great because it, it is significantly different to pizza from anywhere else you get pizza yeah yeah um last video we did uh, so no, I'll, I'll talk quickly about the chicago king video before yes. we mention that one so the chicago king it was a video i recorded i wasn't planning on recording a video i had a few comments on it saying you know a lot of these burger places you're doing videos on are kind of the same it's like yes i'm aware of that to the point where i ordered chicago king just because it was open and it was relatively cheap and i'd been there before and the food was just fine and that's all i needed it was like it was early in the morning when i recorded that and it, i only ordered from there because i was hungry and they were open so I, i'm aware that doing those same videos on a bunch of you know random little kebab shops and stuff is a bit samey and it is a bit boring but that one in particular i only did because i felt like i i, I was upset you know when I, when I got the food so late and the food was so bad it's like right i'm doing a video on this because i'm angry and i just want to vent to someone i was in the house on my own so i just vented to the video and then after i did it I thought, right, I'm not even going to upload that, because again, it's like, just samey videos, but I, I did upload it, and I just sent it to the lads on the Discord, and said, you know, I don't think I'm making this public, and then, I've not done any videos on my own for a month or two now, um, and, yeah, so that was the only one on there, I just made that live, and like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of the, the, sort of negative not even negative just like constructive comments on there and i agree with them um 
but that wasn't even planned to be a video. Uh, that was just somewhere I was ordering from for myself anyway. And spe speaking of not doing videos for a while, I did some bang videos on my own this mm. morning, and I thought I've not done videos in a couple of months. So I've got something clever and funny to say at the start. I was going to say I'm back with a bang, but then I forgot. <laughs> So I said it at the end. <laughs> Fair enough, at least you got it in. And yeah, on that, I mean, I used to, I, I, I've had Chicago King a few times. My, we my, had it together when we watched the Apple keynote. Yeah, I was going to say, it was ago. when my girlfriend was living in Liverpool because she was at uni with you. That's where we met, we met <laughs> through my girlfriend, yeah. Um, anyway, but yeah, uh, we used to get Chicago King quite a few times because she only lived, she lived in Wavertree and that's in Picton Road, wasn't it? So it's literally on... A street parallel to where she used to live. Yeah. So it was dead convenient for us. And we used to get the calzone and, you know, chicken burgers and whatever. And we actually really enjoyed it. It was yeah. probably our, it was probably the place we frequented the most. So to hear it's gone that bad, I mean, it's a bit, a bit of a shame. Yeah, I mean, it could have been a one-off, but I'm not prepared to risk it again. No. It's not like it's the only place that's open at two in the morning in Liverpool, you know, mm. but... Anyway, <laughs> what I know you really want to talk about... Oh, yeah. So, just before this, we, we, we've we've just been sat downstairs for like an hour after finishing this other video because we needed to calm down. We needed to <laughs> calm down and let some food settle. So we ended up watching Sean, our mate and Sean's girlfriend play Warhammer. Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. Yeah, it's it's a good game, and you you, you know you, you played the game of that the other week, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it was good fun for my first entrance <laughs> into Warhammer. Um. But yeah, we sat and watched that. Um, but we, so John, John came here today with the the Gregs. He, he forgot until this morning when I reminded him that that was the plan today. So we come with the Gregs and then we recorded the Wraith video. And I said, you know, what takeaway do you want? He says, what, what do you mean? So well, you said we'd do the Gregs and do the Wraith and then do a takeaway. That was your idea. And he's like, was it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> So we we had, we had a look, and uh, Bubba's Trap Kitchen was on Deliveroo, and that's somewhere we've been recommended to by a kind stranger who shouted to me from over the road, presumably because he recognised me, but I can't confirm that. Um, We're hoping to confirm it. We've, we've put out feelers for hopefully comments and watches, but who knows? Yeah. Um, um, it was phenomenal. I yeah, think it was... It, it was certainly a contender. For yeah, the best I said that, I said that to my girlfriend because yeah. I sent her pictures and she was like, "Vegan festive bake, huh?" <laughs> like, is it to say, yeah, that's what I thought you were going for, and you've ended up sending me pictures of this. Pictures will, you know, yeah. uh, we might even th throw them up in here, um, and that's why I said I was like, yeah, arguably it's the best ever place we've been. Yeah, I think I can't think of any takeaway I've ever had that's been that good. Never mind ones that we've done videos of. Um, I mean, I, the only things that come close are stuff that is exceptionally good value for money because yeah. that was exceptionally good food. You can yeah. have really, really good and great food for nowhere near that amount of money we spent on that. Yeah, um, yeah. so things like the half chicken and chips. The yeah, was that, that's what I was thinking, Tureen, 399, yeah. I think it was 399 or something like that. It was less than a fiver anyway, yeah. even by a pound or so. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, half a chicken and chips for like that, anywhere that, between 350 to 5 quid. It's like, and that this was... That's 11 out of 10 for value. Oh, yeah, and so the food was like, still so up there. Yeah. You know, and then you think Bubba's, the way we've been, you know, 16, well... Ten pound was like the cheapest box, so it's like half. That, the that's price. with thirty percent off. Yeah. Like I say, I don't know at this point whether that's a, like a permanent delivery offer or a temporary thing, but it said thirty percent off, and it was ten and seventeen pound for the chicken and the lobster box, respectively. Ordinarily, it's something like fifteen and twenty-four. And twenty-four. So, it is. It's not like. Um, it's not like it's a bargain and you could go there every day. Like the terrine chicken and chips is something you could have every day. This, for the price, it's very... Breakfast, lunch and tea. <laughs> yeah. still, you know, if you were... <laughs> for, for the price, this is very much a treat. However, it was just so good. Yeah. Taking price out of the equation, I think it's got it's got to be possibly the best place we've had food from. Mm. And it, it was was weird as well like with the waffles there it was something different and unique so it's like 
it's different and unique. The food you get is, is more than enough to fill you up. And the the quality of um, the, ingredients. The, the, the chicken and the pasta was incredible. So... You know, and the feeling that you said it gave you. Yeah, it, taste, like, it tasted like summer. Like back, back at my house in the summer, with my new barbecue, when we yeah. did that video, cooking steak and whatever. Just yeah. a great day. It, it was amazing. Yeah. I'll, de- I'll definitely be going back. I won't, I won't be going often because of the price of it. But I'll definitely be going back. Anytime delivery has got a thirty percent off. Oh, <laughs> go on then. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, amazing. <laughs> no, it was so good. Um, I don't know how we follow that. To be honest, yeah, I, 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 maybe it's a good thing. The thing is, I, I can't even like pinpoint any one thing about it that makes it so good. It was just. It was just really hard to fault. Other than it was, the price. Ev- yeah. It went everything like in a row. It's just, just such great tasting flavors with exceptional quality of meat and, and and things like that. You know, and the freshness of it, how it tasted, and things like that. It's just, and you know, marinades and different flavors going together. Yeah. That's I think mean, that's 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 what you find. I mean, I think. And that's even when you consider there was corn on the cob in there, and it was okay, and that was probably the worst thing in the box. Yeah. And the coleslaw, like, you're not paying ten pounds, sixteen pounds for coleslaw and sweet corn on the cob. Like, you'd probably still pay that even without those items in yeah. the box. It's everything else because you're getting chicken and lobster tail and prawns and thighs and wings. I think, or- and, and a, a lot of mac and cheese as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ordinarily, I would criticise the fact that there's a waffle there just because it doesn't make sense to me. And if I can't make sense of it, I can't justify it. But everything was just so good. It put me in a, such a good mood that it, it like felt like it's a positive. That what I've said just in the video. To... It's like, I don't know why this is here. It doesn't make sense. But it's here, and I respect that because it's cool. It's different. I've never had like a box of chicken with pasta and a waffle with... Uh, hazelnut sauce on it before but it was it just blew my mind yeah so John said in the thing like chicken and waffles is a thing in in America Um, soul food Dutch cuisine and soul food Um, so like in in that regard it makes sense it's not something I've ever had before and even even with that, that what you've just shown me there it's not Waffle with hazelnut sauce and rainbow sprinkles on it. No, I mean, it's typically like it's it'll be maple, it'll, yeah, it's yeah. typically maple syrup. Yeah, but they've done like a bueno <laughs> kind of sauce and <laughs> with like, yeah and sprinkles. It's quite. Uh, you, have you have you been to um, what's that? Almost famous. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me of that a little bit. Yeah. Except it's just like almost famous. They just try every month to come out with something like weird and random, like a quarter uh, of a pop tart on top of a burger instead yeah. of an onion ring. I mean that that's fine, but like this place, and you're still they, paying ten quid for the privilege of yeah. that burger with a pop tart and some fries, and oh, maybe well probably more with the fries. And this was ten pound for a lot more food. Yeah, but and then, delivered to your house, which and at, at Bubba's Trap Kitchen as well. They've just got eight things on the menu. I know, yeah. And I imagine I'll look next month and it'll be the same menu, where it's almost famous, like everything's a gimmick. Here, like, how can you call it a gimmick when there's eight things on the menu? Yeah. You know, if it was a gimmick, you'd have a different, like, sauce on there every week. Uh, one week it'd be like... Really want to try the sauce sauce like the chicken box. I, I do as well. We'll do that next time. Next what? time we, you come over just yeah, to hang out. Just to hang out or something and we'll just get it and share a box. Yeah, just play Kill Team. Yeah, <laughs> some of that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that's. I think that wraps up the video yeah, perfectly. All we've got left to say, but by by the time this video goes up, it Christmas will have been and gone. But for us at, at the moment, Christmas is in a few days, so we'll wish wish you Merry Christmas. Hope you had a good one. Yeah. And Happy New Year, which is either um t- tonight or today. This will go up either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, But yeah, Happy New Year, all the best, and hope you had a great Christmas. But from us, 
It's our last video of 2021. <laughs> Let's hope next year is better. It might, might be our first video of 2022. It could be our first video of 2022. But it'll be all, more than likely our last video recorded in 2021. Because we're and we're expecting not to have time to. Hey, you could schedule it to go up on New Year's Eve at 22, 20, 23, 55, and by the time it ends, it'll be twenty twenty two. I could do, and that's the beauty of having your own channel. Yeah, no one would appreciate that because no one is sat at home watching our videos <laughs> Wait, on yeah. New Year's Eve, apart from me that's sat editing them. Yeah, maybe Rizzo <laughs> if he's not got a date. <laughs> But no, for, for, from us and sod it, why not? Everyone who helps make us these videos, there's not many, but we get some. We get support from our friends. Oh yeah, like uh, our friends and uh, loved my, ones. Yeah, my girlfriend washing the glasses um, in between our videos, <laughs> so we could do two energy drinks on the bounce. Oh, mountain. That that's what we missed off oh. that we did today. Mountain Dew Voodoo. So we had not only the best takeaway, we've arguably the best takeaway, a contender for the best takeaway we've ever had on the channel. We had the best Mountain best Dew we've Mountain ever had. Dew we've ever had. <laughs> what a day. It's been a good day. It's been a great day. What a way to wrap up. And the a year. really good festive bake. Yeah. We basically had the festive bake, the <laughs> Rave Christmas cocktails. Um, yeah, the Mountain Dew and then the, the takeaway. I mean, yeah. It's probably been our... That's how good the takeaway was. It made me forget about the fact that we had the best Mountain Dew we've ever had. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. But no, yeah, for, for, from from everyone who looks after us in the background who doesn't have much to do with the videos but supports us and from us at, at Everyday Food Reviews, we hope you had a great Christmas and have a great 2022 and we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>